Hello and welcome to this video on multi-group modeling in M+. In this video I want to show you a very useful feature of the M+ program when you run multi-group confirmatory factor analysis or structural equation modeling. Before I begin, I want to point out to those of you who are new to this channel that on this channel I provide weekly stats tutorials every Tuesday, mostly on structural equation modeling and related techniques with the M+ program. So if this is something that you like, then please hit the subscribe button and also if you like this video please hit the like button as well. So in this video I want to show you a very useful feature that the M plus program has when you run a multi-group confirmatory factor analysis model or a multi-group SEM model. First of all, why is it useful to do a multi-group analysis? Oftentimes we want to compare groups in statistics. So we want to know, for example, whether women differ from men or whether different cultures differ with regard to certain variables. And so with confirmatory factor analysis, we can do group comparisons using multi-group analysis. And we can also test whether the measurement properties of our scales are the same across groups. So we can test for measurement equivalence or measurement invariance, as we say, to make sure that the groups are really comparable in terms of the measurements. And so with multi-group analysis, then a typical step is that we begin with a so-called configural invariance or configural measurement invariance model where we only have the same factor structure, the same number of factors and the same variable loading, loading on the same factors across groups, but no constraints on measurement parameters such as factor loadings or intercepts. And then we proceed to more restricted models that constrain the factor loadings to be equal across groups, the so-called metric or weak invariance model. And then in addition, we often test a model of strong measurement equivalence as well, where we set factor loadings and intercepts equal across groups, the so-called scalar invariance model or strong measurement equivalence model. Now, you can um, see that it's pretty tedious to do all this by hand because if you um, have to constrain all the factor loadings by hand, that requires a lot of code. If you then also have to constrain intercepts to be equal across groups, then that requires um, some code. And then plus is actually the default model for multi-group analysis is actually a model that already has invariant loadings and intercepts. And so it's actually more work in M plus to specify a configurable model where you would have to free up those constraints. In any case, though, it is work to run each of these models individually, configurable, metric, scalar. And so therefore, M plus has a very nice feature that I want to show here where you can run all these models in one step where M plus does this automatically and you do not have to manually implement those constraints. All you need to do is specify your configurable, so to say, factor structure that holds in all groups. And then M plus will automatically fit the configurable model, the metric invariance model and the scalar invariance model in one step. And not only will it give you the parameter estimates for all these models, but it will also give you the fit statistics and it'll perform chi-square difference tests for you already, which is also something that we often do to statistically compare the fit of these models to decide whether, for example, the assumption of uh, strong measurement equivalence is um, acceptable or whether that assumption is violated here or whether that model doesn't fit. So how does how is this done? You can see here a very basic um, two-factor model with two indicators each. So I have F1 and F2. Those are my latent factors. Then I have indicators Y1 and Y2 for factor 1 and indicators Y3 and Y4 measuring factor F2. The factors can be correlated by default in M+. And so my grouping variable here is G. So I want to compare the groups um, G, G groups, so to say, on this grouping variable G where, for example, the um, uh, the score of one or number one could indicate a control group and number two could be the code for a treatment group. So this could be a binary grouping variable in this example. And so then 
by using this grouping command, M plus automatically knows this is a multi-group analysis. And then by including the command analysis, model equals configural metric scalar, M plus will then automatically fit all three of those models with different levels of measurement equivalence across groups and give you the results for all three models in a single output, which is extremely practical. So let's take a look at what this looks like in the output when I run this model like this. And so we scroll down a little bit, we can first of all see that we have 179 individuals here in the control group and 207 individuals in the treatment group. And there are a total number of two groups. So you can check that this is what you expected. And then when we go down a little bit further, and I'm going to skip over those sample statistics here, then we can see the model fit information. And the model fit information allows us to do invariance testing because M plus gives us the fit for each model, for the configural model, the metric model, and the scalar model, along with the numbers of parameters. So you can check that it's all correct, that it is in line with the number of parameters that you expect for each model and the degrees of freedom that you expect for each model. And then when that's all good, you can take a look at the chi-square values and the p-values. Here you can see all the p-values here for all three models look really good. They don't have to be rejected according to the chi-square test of model fit. Even the scalar or strong invariance model here does not have to be rejected according to the chi-square because the p-value is um, almost 0.7, so it's um, a lot larger than our typical alpha level of 0.05. So none of these models has to be rejected here, which is great. And then in addition, we also get the model comparison, metric against configural, scalar against configural, and scalar against metric. And you can see that none of the chi-square difference values here that M plus gives us is significant either, meaning that none of the more restricted models fit worse than the less restrictive previous models. So even the um, um, scalar model will not fit significant or does not fit significantly worse here than the metric invariance model as indicated by the p-value of 0 0.2950, which is larger than 0 0.05 and therefore would typically not be considered statistically significant. So all these, oh, none of these chi-square difference tests are statistically significant, indicating that we can um, assume a high level of measurement equivalence here. Specifically, we can assume that the intercepts and factor loadings do not differ significantly across groups such that strong measurement equivalence holds here across the groups. Then furthermore, M plus will give you all the individual fit statistics again, so the chi-square values again for each model, and then additional fit statistics. And we'll also give you the contributions from each group for the chi-square. So if you're a fan, for example, of the RMSEA or CFI or something like that, then you get those also for each of these models when you scroll down here. So the fit statistics are given for each group. And then the parameter estimates are also given for each group. For, sorry, not for each group, they're given for each model. So the model results are first provided or parameter estimates for the configural model and then the other models. So you can take a look at all of those parameter estimates as well. So as you can see, there's a very practical way to test these different levels of measurement equivalence in one step. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to manually enter any constraints and plus does it all automatically for you and that is very useful. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to check out the description for additional resources, including um, free workshops that I also provide, and I'll see you next time.